When the original Safeguards Rule became effective in May of 2003, it created a frenzy of activity as dealerships tried to grasp what it meant and how to meet its requirements. In fact, the Safeguards Rule was itself one of the main drivers in creating dealership compliance as an industry within the industry. It's hard to believe, but the original Safeguards Rule was less than three pages long. Now that law is being revised and greatly expanded. The Federal Trade Commission has issued a notice of proposed rulemaking that would increase the word count of the rule to almost 14 pages. And within that expanded heft are a number of changes that will hit dealerships hard and make the original version look like a friendly little puppy dog. The first thing you'll notice about the proposed new rule is that it specifically calls out automobile dealerships as being subject to the rule. The original version covered dealerships, but only through a somewhat convoluted reference to other regulations that applied to them. Now it's right out front. Covered entities, and that now explicitly includes automobile dealerships, must designate a Chief Information Security Officer, or CISO. Designating an employee isn't necessarily hard, but making sure that person is properly qualified and receives ongoing training may prove to be problematical. Now, the CISO may be an outside service provider, but a senior manager at the dealership must oversee that service provider, and the service provider must run an information security program that satisfies the rule. Great care must be taken here. The information security program must include encryption of customer data, multi-factor authentication of those permitted to access that data, and an incident response plan, among other significant requirements. Computer data security is a particular focus of the revised rule. If enacted as proposed, the rule will specifically require either continuous monitoring of your computer network for intrusions and compromises, or annual penetration testing and vulnerability assessments every six months. The bottom line here is that what has always been best practices under the original safeguards rule is about to become mandatory. The proposed new rule has not been finalized yet, so its requirements may still change. But change is coming, and it will require a significant effort on the part of dealerships to comply. Don't worry, we'll keep you posted on these changes as they become law, and give you guidance on how to comply. For Drop the Bowtie, this is Jim Ganther. Thanks for watching.